Today we have with us an amazing personality all the way from Assam. She is the winner of the Whitley Award which is otherwise known as the Green Oscar Award in 2017. She is also the recipient of the Nari Shakti Puraskar from the President of India which is the highest sibling honor for an Indian woman, Dr. Purnima Devi Burman. In this video, she talks about a passionate journey in protecting the biodiversity and also in protecting a bird species known as Hargila, which is going extinct. Friends, through all these activities, she has also empowered the women of Assam. This is Oli Green and Oli Green is all about making our world a greener place. Please do subscribe to the channel and join us in this journey. Over to you, Dr. Purnima Devi Burman. Namaskar. I am Purnima Devi Burman. I am a wildlife biologist in Assam and uh, I work with NGO Arainak based in Guwahati in Assam. And we have been working with communities uh, to save a bird called Greater Resident Stork, locally called as Hargila bird in Assam. And I have been working with more than 10,000 families in Assam uh, to save this bird from extinction. And uh, uh, to save this bird, we have to work very closely with people and we have we have established a people's movement in Assam towards this board and uh, uh, and we also we are also working very closely with women uh, rural women in Assam and we have formed a group called Hargila army in villages in Assam I think I have deep connection and deep love for nature since my childhood I was grown up amidst greenery and amidst nature uh, on the bank of uh, wetland or on the bank of river Brahmaputra or in the paddy fields and I love farming and I love paddy fields because I have deep connection uh, with them since my childhood. Uh, in, in my childhood when I was very young I was grown up, uh, I, I was brought up by my grandma. She raised me um, because my parents had to leave me for, for, for a few years. Um, for for some of their job and because he he was posted to some other state he was he was in army so so one day when I realized that uh, that I was alone and my 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 parents had to leave me uh, with my grandma I I I was very yeah I was I, I I became from that day I became very restless child and I wanted to go and meet my parents but they live in another state and we at that time we had a very poor connection poor communication so yeah it was long back so and then my grandma had a solution had a had a sustainable solution for a restless child and uh, she often uh, took me to the paddy fields and connected me with birds. I still remember she introduced me with many species of birds, many species of storks. Uh, also, I, I still remember I saw falchers, I saw many species of storks and uh, she introduced me with local names and uh, but my grandma, she didn't know to write or she, she, she was not educated so but she, I think she had a deep love for nature she she taught me to love birds to love trees to plant trees and to and she also taught me I still remember she also taught me many songs for the birds and especially egrets and storks and I still remember I saw hargila birds I, I, I often went to paddy fields I always loved to walk uh, with my bare food and I just I wa I wanted I even wanted to have my uh, my foods there so I, I often went there and my uh, yeah so so I think I had a deep connection with nature since my childhood but I never knew that one day I would work on Hargila birds I still remember I saw Hargila birds in my childhood but when I was grown up when I was an adult they were not in our locality they were not they were missing in our locality and that was always a question then uh, coincidentally I think uh, yeah coincidentally I had my masters in zoology and then I got specialization in animal ecology and wildlife biology and then again I I I yeah, I had a connection. I had a chance to work with NGO Arinuk. I met two professors in my university, Dr. Porimal Chandra Bhattacharjee and Professor 
professor prasanta kumar soikya sir both of them connected with me ngo arena and many other organizations and i started working with ngo arena as a volunteer initially and then i started working with them and i i i I I saw I got to know many things about wildlife and my eyes were open and then I met many people and many conservationists and I realized that people were often obsessed with mega species and charismatic species but but um, only a few people were concerned about lesser known species uh, or yeah of, about the lesser known species or biodiversity and then i thought that i would do my phd on hargila bird which was my childhood friend but trust me i never knew beyond phd i thought phd would be the ultimate i never knew about community conservation but one day an incident happened in my life and then i realized about community conservation and since that incident um, of in 2007 i have been working with communities more than 10000 families in the villages and in my journey the in entire journey all the works we are doing applying our common sense and it is very non bookies and by learning from them i think our communities i think are the greatest teachers for us for me so i am learning from them every species of our mother earth is so important equally important in nature all the biodiversity every uh, every organism whether it is a mega or micro organism they have a specific role in our ecosystem and in balancing the ecosystem and we need to realize the web of life every day in our life how every species is like a like a thread in a in a web of life how, like how every species is important and we cannot uh, we we cannot uh, uh, underestimate about mega species or about uh, about uh, a lesser known species we cannot underestimate every species has a role in uh, in the universe and its existence and we need to respect its existence and to realize its existence and balance of nature and every species is interconnected with its other and we human being we all are interconnected and uh, it is so important for us to realize and to make realize all our community members all our youth all our future leaders uh, to come forward to help every species uh, like whether it is a micro organism or mega species or maybe our plant diversity and yeah, or our habitat like wetland so we need to protect everyone and we need to learn we need to understand and establish the balance in our ecosystem i think hargila bird is my soul they are my life i can spend hours and hours watching them and when i when i climb my bamboo platform i i i have uh, three bamboo platforms one is 85 feet one is 100 feet and one is another size so i i keep climbing them and i i stay there sometimes long time long days and i keep studying the breeding behavior of the bird and i get i get i i, I think i get um what to say i yeah i get lost in my in my passion and i think uh, i think yeah i think i hargila bird is the biggest inspiration in my life and they keep me motivated they keep me going on and uh, i also would like to mention that hargila army all women army members they keep me motivated and uh, uh, yeah so they keep me going on and uh, also i'm very thankful to all the community members i'm very thankful to all the all the uh, policy makers like district administration and kamru police i'm very grateful to them i'm so proud to mention about our hargila army women group uh, from dodora posura singimari village in kamru district of assam and uh, we have more than 10000 women who have pledged to be hargila army and uh, I am very proud to mention that every day basis on daily basis we have 400 women volunteers uh, or forefront leaders who are actively working 
for saving Hargila birds. So Hargila army means protector of birds, and it's a, it's a, I think it's a brand uh, for our, a brand name for our women. Our women are so proud uh, when we call them as Hargila army. So, so, I, so Hargila army means protector of the birds voice of nature, voice of biodiversity, and voice of rural women. And through this Hargila army uh, platform, our women are, women have got a voice, women have got, uh, got a platform to contribute towards mother nature. And I think this is so important to involve our women communities in our conservation agenda, in our decision making agenda and our Hargila army is a proof of that how a housewife being converted into conservationist can convey, can uh, contribute a role in mother nature and I think it is incredible. I'm so proud about the about the role of our Hargila army. Every woman is now very proud member, very proud representative of the Hargila bird and uh, they are uh, they are weaving uh, they, they, I think I think through our Hargila army we have connected we have we have interlinked uh, or we have established the bird into the hearts and minds and cultures and society of the people and now the Hargila bird is a sacred bird and it is because of our community support and through this Hargila army we have established a huge people's movement in Assam towards biodiversity towards Hargila bird and towards endangered species or I can say that towards lesser known species. When a Hargila army pledge, she pledge to be a protector of tree, protector of the bird and to monitor the trees, to protect the wetlands and to educate her child and to educate her uh, family members or husband and to bring her families so this way we are not only working with women we are also working with men so we so we are working with both men and women but our Hargila army are leading this campaign and I think it is incredible and uh, uh, our women are producing they they, they produce they they uh, they weave hargila motif uh, into textiles into in, ha in handloom and uh, and those are so beautiful so this way our women uh, are empowered and they they get um, they get income and not only income but they also celebrate the beauty of the bird by weaving them into our own Assamese traditional uh, uh, textile and handloom. I am also very uh, proud to mention that I am uh, also leading a group called Women in Nature Network uh, in India and uh, Women in Nature Network is a uh, is a global group uh, many countries have joined and uh, we uh, a few women uh, from uh, different parts of the world are are founder members of this uh, women in nasa network and one of the founding member is lian alonso and uh, and also jessica and uh, so they they are leading this group and i'm very uh, glad that i'm a part of this women in nasa network and uh, so with this group we are we are reaching we are connecting with more and more women conservationists of the world and this is basically an organic group and uh, about empowering women connecting women supporting each other and i am very glad that i have uh, that uh, that i with my team we have uh, hosted women in nasa network uh, sem symposium uh, international symposium in 2017 sorry 2000 uh, 2019 in assam and it uh, and we ha we had more than uh, uh, more than 13 countries women who had joined uh, uh, in this symposium uh, around 70 women joined in this symposium and at the same time i am very proud to mention that hargila was a case also a case study in that uh, symposium and our women communities from hargila army our hargila army members also joined as uh, they they were the they were the representative of communities and they also joined as participant in this uh, in this symposium and i think it was incredible a combination of scientists and community members together and it was about connecting each other all the women and i again request all the policymakers and planners to involve more and more women 
and to balance the equality this is my humble request to all the government officials policy makers planners or uh, or anyone who are involved in uh, plannings of uh, in 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 the, in the plannings uh, or decision making of the of developing in our of developing or any development issues i request all of them to sit together and to discuss with our community members environmentalists and to uh, to 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 do the development projects uh, or any city projects uh, uh, by discussing with our community members and and make it sustainable and uh, eco friendly and uh, we should remember that the development should not be the not be at the uh, cost of biodiversity yes we need development but we should it should not be at the cost of biodiversity so already we have lost many things we have already lost many assets but now we need to save what are existing among us and i also request all the policy makers planners and all the conservationists who are doing eco friendly sustainable projects conservation projects to involve women in your decision making agenda to involve more and more women and more and more rural women community women members in your decision making agenda to have to achieve a sustainable conservation goal in your projects my request to all the youths and all our future leaders and all the viewers uh, to uh, to uh, to have a deep love for nature and to be the warrior of our mother earth it doesn't matter in which profession you are uh, to save our mother earth or biodiversity uh, it doesn't necessary that you have to be a biologist or ecologist you can save you can protect our biodiversity in any form of your life and i think our home is the biggest uh, environmental education hub for uh, hub uh, for creating an impact so please create your impact from your home uh, please uh, to start your environment education from your own home teach your uh, children teach the ch children from your communities from your na neighborhood and inspire is others and i request all of you to lead a sustainable life to follow a life who is led by example by reducing your own carbon footprint and uh, by living a sustainable eco-friendly life and i request all the youths to come forward and everyone i think should protect a species and come come forward with a resolution to protect a species and uh, i also request all the youths to be very please be very innovative be very um, be very um, innovative and optimistic and creative and uh, please believe in conservation optimism and and come forward and break the stereotype and break the glass ceiling thank you so much